Hello everyone. Uh, today in Rhino session, we will be uh, explaining about uh, the command called uh, the twin curves. The twin curves command will create the series of curves between the two open curve or closed input curves. So let's uh, create the command and see the demo. So first of all, I'll go to my uh, top view. I am creating a maybe I'll go to the front view. I'll create a different uh, kind of uh, curve. of my design as uh, per my design input and I am going to create an another curve which is totally different uh, from the first curve okay okay something like uh, this okay something like this okay yeah yeah something like this so I'll go to the uh, top view. I'll select my second curve. I'll go to the top view and move away my uh, second curve 100 meter away from this first curve. Yeah, something like this. So you can see in the perspective view. Yeah, something like this. If you want to have some kind of uh, aesthetical look kind of feel, uh, you can just adjust this more from this one not being a regular shape you can just adjust these things and uh, do some play on this uh, for creating an interesting uh, form out of it yeah so i have created something like this okay so i'm going to select these two curves and i am going to use the command called curve twin curves you can find it here in this uh, curve menu bar in the twin curves or you can just type it away so once you type it see it is going to create you the series of lines in between these two curves that's how it works and you can define the value in between how many curves you want if you want 10 you can just type 10 okay and you can define the point also wherever you want it to be uh, right now uh, it is showing this first point here and here if you want to select this here see completely it's changing over something like that you can do uh, hmm? sample points also you can define it you can do refit method uh, yeah and you can just give enter the form is created you can just uh, select all this curve you can go to the solid and you can do extrude in our surface in this direction or uh, direction i can just specify i want it to be in this direction okay something like that i want to do and you can see it in the shaded view wow you can generate something like this however you want uh, randomly i created it doesn't look good but you can create your own form whichever way you can so let me show you how to create a twin curve for the uh, closed curve so i'm creating a closed curve right now okay this is my first curve and i'm going to create an another curve Maybe I'll take this curve, copy and paste and I'll rotate it so that it doesn't look uh, same, no? The orientation, I'll twist it and I'll go to the perspective and I'll move it away above by 30 meters. If that is very less, I'll make 100, okay? I'm going to create a twin curve between these two closed curves. I'll go to the curve and twin curves. Yeah, you can see. You are getting a form out of it, something very interesting uh, and you can just do solid, export penaco and straight. You can just extrude that and you can give some value, maybe 1 meter I will give or 5 meters, something or okay, it's too much, 2 meters, yeah, 
can see some interesting form is created using the spin term. You can just adjust your uh, top and bottom uh, and then you can define your uh, form out of it. If you want to make it more interesting, I will go to the top view. Twist. So I am creating it. I am going to press point and uh, Sorry. Paste. Put a friend to you. Paste. Can adjust this twist like that. Something if you want uh, to create more interesting, you can do something like that using this twist option. Wow. Hmm. Maybe something very complex structural uh, output you can get out of it. You can see it in the rendered view. See, yeah. So you can create something uh, interesting out of these screen curves and uh, twist and uh, extrude kind of surfaces. Uh, all this will help you in now uh, develop your uh, parametric uh, 3D form out of it. And uh, I hope this video is helpful to some of you. And you can guys, guys can practice and uh, let me know your comments in the comment section. Thank you very much.